And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Geek Watch, a subsidiary of the monastery, the open bar of the internet. I am your one and only gaming monk, better known as Mildra, and with me I have two of my good brothers here. We have the living snack of comics, the man who has tried and failed many times to use the wizard's excuse of a, of of being late, and the and the man who is the eye who is the eye of Sauron of the temple. Good brother Doku, and we have the bane of my existence, the man of a thousand runes, and the CEO of Zadari Enterprises, who seem who seems to be undergoing a bit a bit of corporate sparring with with both with both Zaya and Gem. Good brother Zan. Sparring match, or is it just kind of, you know, casual Sunday night entertainment? I don't know. Squash matches can be count can count as sparring matches, can't they? With yourself, maybe. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, it's not so much a sparring match on their part or on my part as it is a sparring match between the two of them. And while they're bickering, I go, children, children, let the big boys play. I thought you would have stepped in and said, Ladies, ladies, you're both ugly. I mean, that's your line. Why would I steal that from you? Because it's not my line. I stole it from Easy. Point. If it's not copyrighted, it's fair game. <laughs> and yes, I will be that corporate asshole. Excuse me, but my team of lawyers has something to say to you, Goku, and that's uh, about a 17-page press release and uh, and affidavit saying all the same thing. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Only 17. You want an 18? I'm open yep. for negotiations. We don't need that many. <laughs> yep. Anyway, it after after some fairly serious, semi-serious discussions, I felt we needed to do. What we do best ar around here in the temple, dumb shit. And <laughs> and I rem and I had s I had said that once I got a hold of the Fatum deck that I that I was waiting on for the better part of a year. I was I was going to use it in one in one of the streams. It would just ta it would just take time because I can't do I can't do de I can't do these kind of things, um, all the time. I gotta spread I gotta spread this shit out. But in short, people, we're playing a game of the monastery plays stupid games. Mildred wins the stupid prizes. <laughs> well, if it's got to be that type of stream, which is my favorite type of stream. Every world building and character building stream has been that type of stream since. And on that note, proper preparation is required. Cheers. <laughs> oh, please, you're going to start drinking anyways. I'm just saying, I get, I get an, I get a angry comment every week from the oh god of hangovers whenever Doku's on. <laughs> I apologize for not. You're, what are you talking about? You're not the one getting the hangover. He is. Every yin needs its yang. I'm around for another month here. Mm -hmm. But the approach, the approach with this kind of thing is, it's basically a character creation tarot. And and something that I have made clear to others is that there are absolutely no stats involved. It's basically a set of cues interpreting tarot cards. It's just that it's just that instead of the instead of the tarot cards we all thought we were cool with in college, it's a it's a set of tarot cards based on based on fantasy races, classes, backgrounds, etc. Um, some of the peop some of the people talking about the thing imply that it imply that it's meant for character creation in 5e but in reality it isn't you can use this for just about any um any high any high fantasy game might be a little bit trickier to do with sword and sorcery you'd have to t you'd have to cut out a bunch of cards from the deck and it but it's still it's not impossible now there are one two 
five, six. There are six types of of cards that will be used. Um, races, self-explanatory. Backgrounds, also self-explanatory. Background, uh, sorry, um, classes, also self-explanatory. Backgrounds, which are the specialization beyond cla beyond classes. Bonds, the ties to the the ties to the character, or other people other people, events, self-explanatory, and places, also self-explanatory. Um, the, the setup that we have is first I will draw a the two character cards, race and class, then the origins and background, then mark of past and impetus, i.e. something that happened in the past and the reason why you would venture, and then two bonds. Some of these char some of these cards will will um, require drawing of other cards, and we'll see how far that goes. When we were first testing out the deck, in an impromptu setting, we had one set of, uh, I think it was a background, go down about eight steps. Yeah. So, now with, the, with this, I will be alternating between the, two, between the two of you as far as how you're going to interpret this. And since you, and because alphabetical rules out, Doku, you're f you're up first. Oh boy, this should be fun. All right. So let us first draw your your race and class. You have orc and fighter. So next is your origins. Your origins are a heavenly plane. Um, your background is a sailor. Your mark of past is a rise. And now I have to draw another for to answer the why. You and you drew betrayed, and the answer to for to whom is either a is either a let me see, is either a cl a class a I'd have to I'd have to draw a class a background or in a or an event which which you want me to go with.
sorry about sorry about the long mute because because OBS hates me. So in re in review after after that bit of fuck up, we have a orc fighter from a who is a sailor from a heavenly plane who in the past rose to power by betraying someone who com who committed a selfless sacrifice that redeemed an anarchist. Their reason for traveling is to bring fame to an inn. They have a barbarian as an enemy and a dragon as a brother. How <laughs> good fucking luck. <laughs> but yeah I think we're I think we're getting off to a, I think we're getting off to a strong a strong foot when it comes to this um <laughs> Yes, I was I was counting on bat shit. And now it's time for now it's time for me to clear to clear the board. Jeez, saying clear the board. I feel I feel like I'm t I've been spending too I've been spending too much time with sh with the Metrocon crew. Um, what, you never, what, you never heard of Spelljammer? Fair point. Can't, can't argue there. Okay. Zen, you are next. So let's see, you... You drew a... Beastkin Warlock. Yes. <laughs> well, I already know that. Um, your origin is a mountain. That's the beast I chose. Your background is a bandit. Your mar your mark of past event is death. You have three you have three op you have three starting options. Who, where, and murderer. Murderer. Okay. Are you going are you going for are you going for ri are you going for a class, background, or event? Background. Alright. You murdered a magic item wielder. Your impetus is search. As far as the search of search of what, you have a choice between ra between race, no, sorry, not race, um, class, background, event, or location. The location is an island. And now for Magic the fucking gathering. And now for the bond. Your first bond is a lover. Now, as far as the who, it, it is the cho is a choice between cl class, background, or event. Rom you drew romance. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bit on the nose. Um, once again, once again, same qu once again, same question. Bench. You drew be helped. To 
And same question as to who. Hmm? Background? All right. You were helped by an assassin. <laughs> um. Let's see. Your other bond is, mo is you drew mother, and are you going? Are you going with class or background? Ground. All right. And you drew bull. Your mother is a bulwark. As a background, does that mean just someone who is strong of character and? It is it is completely open to interpretation. Okay. Okay. I will I will note that the art for the bulwark depicts a depicts a a woman with a large shield. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So First of all, for Beastkin, I picked Hyenakin. Hyenakin, warlock from a mountain. Okay. Who well, used to be a bandit. Got it. The only reason I was a bandit is because I, uh, I left initially my homeland. And, uh, it's only by refinding my mother and, and having her be the bulwark, both metaphorically and literally in my life, that I aspired to greater things. Of course, as a bandit, I killed a guy who wields a magic deck of cards. Because that's the magic item I chose. <laughs> and now I am searching an island for other cards that go in the deck for the deck it gets me. <laughs> okay, uh, then. When I murdered the magic item wielder, I was helped by the assassin. I was still only a bandit then. I hadn't gotten all my warlock warlock powers from the parts of the deck. Uh, um, and she and I got along real well. And that is my hyena kin warlock. I do have to ask, um, what what's the warlock patron? The warlock patron? Yes. As, as in, do you want just the patrons that are seen normally, or do you want me to pick any type of patron? We're here to do dumb shit, so anything goes. Ah, good. His patron. His patron is the lord of the swamps. The muck. The decay of the world. That is his patron. All right, then. It's only fitting that by killing the man who, who wields the cards, the cards deal him the hand. All right. Now it's t now it's time to now it's time to clear the board. I'm going to I'm going to be doing a little bit of reshuffling in the process. I'm going to be keeping an eye if so if somebody puts this on tabletop simulator because that's going to make things a whole lot easier. Um I am putting in I am putting in a new rule when it comes to when it comes to this next batch and that is um any in any in and that is um, any instance of cho of choice, un un if if it if unless it involves location only, race is allowed as a pick. So now it's time for the shuffle. will get worse. Randomizing is not always the best way to do things. And I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, if you want them to make sense, if you want it to be fun, then it's definitely the best way to do it. It's like it's like saying it's like saying that violence is not the answer. No, that that is technically true. Violence is the question and the answer is yes.
Um, it never says that it has to be literal brothers. This is actually fair. I... The dragon is my boat. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, hey, we have... Hey, we we were dr we were driving on essentially a dragon's back in the start of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so why not? Again, from that perspective, it actually makes sense. How'd you get from the uh, the fine realm to the mortal realm? Uh, my boat is a dragon. It happens to be my brother. He did the reverse of riding a dragon to the heavens. <laughs> essentially. It's a good thing it's the reverse, because if you were riding a dragon to the heavens and it was your brother, uh, that could get off the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, no. This now leads me to imagine your boat as being like the king of red lions, except a dragon. All right. Um, Doku, you're up next. And you I'm not going to pick the race, just randomize it. Um, Let's keep going. You start with being a tiefling paladin. I'm just... I'm just going to... <laughs> you heard me. And now, let's see. Your your origins are a desert. Your background and let me make sure. is a deity. <laughs> okay. Let's see. See Doku, it always gets worse. I told you so. Your mark of your mark of past is reward. Now you can you can are you going to go with a who or a why? With this one, it's definitely going to have to be a why. <laughs> All right. And the why... The why is victory. And the qu the op options you have are where or or to who. All right. This is one of those cases where I'm going to, where I'm calling an audible and drawing a race. A human. And as far as your impetus, you drew legend. And as far as the about, it can be any card type. Legend is Mast Guardian. I should note that the art for Mast Guardian looks like a look has what looks like a fantasy version of a luchador mask. Either either luchador or think 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 about it, monk. Tiefling paladin, deity, Mast Guardian. What does Common Rider do? It takes its powers from its enemies. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I hate I hate to admit it, but he's right. Um, it's it's also a very it's also a very Ishinomori thing to do. It's 
it's something not li I'd say I'd say one of the rare cases where that doesn't happen is um is Go Ranger. Yeah, in 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 most cases with uh, Common Rider, uh, their power is derived in some fashion from what's happening with the bad guys. Yeah, for most of the Showa era, it was actually I think for the entirety of the Showa era, it was cyborgs. Even though the definition of cyborg is very loose, um, Amazon is considered a cyborg. <laughs> It's a, it's a massive stretch, but it counts anyway. So your first bond is a apprentice. As far as the who, as far as the who, you have again the ch the choice of class, background, or event. Uh, let's go with class. All right. You have a apprentice monk. Works for Paladin. Um. And as far as your other bond, works for a tiefling paladin who used to be a god. <laughs> you have a daughter. As far as the who, as far as the who, in this case, it is either a pick either class or background. Hmm. For a for a daughter of a tiefling paladin who used to be a god that got promoted because of a victory for some. Lord knows whatever Be because reason. a human got a victory. Yeah, because a human got a victory. Um, daughter, let's let's have fun with it. Let's go with the event. All right. The event drawn is training, hmm. and that again, this brings the question of of class, background, or event. Let's go with the vent again. To the rabbit hole we go. Next car next one is duty. Alright, in that case it's a vent again. And and the next e the next event. Is go is going to be <laughs> corruption. Training, duty, corruption. Oh. Now, as far as as far as the corrupted by that's that that can be any card. A fighter. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> your orc corrupted your daughter from her duty, and now you have to train her. To get Actually, I drew. I decided to draw. I decided to draw a race to see what race the fighter is. I drew shapeshifter. Even better. <laughs> Damn orc, or maybe not orc. So. In summation, racing class is Tiefling Paladin. Um, origin is a desert. Background is a deity. Mark of past is re is reward, but because of vi because of a hu because of a human victory. Impetus is le is legend about a masked guardian. For bond number one is an apprentice monk. Bond number two is a is a daughter. Who is tr who is training? In, who is training a du a duty corrupted by a fight by a shapeshifter fighter? What so what sort of what do you have? What do you have for me in this case? Well, in this case, uh, it's a fallen deity that is clearly trying to defend his clan. He is uh, again fallen from the divine, trying to pro uh, trying to protect what little things he has left. That would be the monk and the daughter. And it's all in 
in the purpose of trying to protect whatever this mass deity and the purpose is going to be, and trying to prevent corruption from going throughout the world, starting with his daughter. And the monk is there to help him. All right. So that now it's time for me to cl to clear the board. Boy, boy. God, that was a weird one. <laughs> Told you it only gets worse. <laughs> that is true. He did tell you. Yeah, he did. And I knew it was going to get worse and weirder, but that was way worse and way weirder than you thought it would. Yeah, that that went from a seven to a nine real quick. I'd call that an absolute win. Ironically, it still sounds like it would be fun to play because what the ever would it help? You know, I could probably make it. I could probably make it work, but that's because that's because I t that's because I frequently say fuck the rules. Rules, I have money. Oh. This is why you don't make bets. <laughs> you lose, you lose your divinity because a human won a gladiator match. All, r all right. Next, uh, next up, it's you, Zan, and we have um, for race and class, we we have. Undead Cleric. Why am I already Ein's new girlfriend? <laughs> I wasn't even going to go with that. I was going to go with Justice from um, Dragon Age Awakening. Okay, he's not technically... He's not technically undead, but he is inhabiting somebody's body, and I'm going with Justice in that, and not DA2 because fuck Anders. Actually, don't because he'd probably enjoy that. Oh. What's my origin? Your origin is. Ruins. Your back, your background and hang, hang on, I need to reshuffle this because I'm getting some, I'm getting things a little too familiar. Your background is a merchant. Your mark of your mark of past is bankruptcy, and as to why you drew death, <laughs> um, are you once again are you going with who, where, or are you the murderer? Where? It happened in a palace. Your impetus you drew is shame, and the qu the options you have are why and where. Why? You drew selfless sacrifice. Well, <laughs> I don't know how that becomes shameful. <laughs> what are my choices? Do that again. Race, class, background, event. Event. Have to rabbit hole somewhere. You set. You did a selfless sacrifice for redemption. Same. Same set of questions as to the buy. Race. 
to re to redeem a halfling. Your first bond is a chief. As for, and once again, the once again the who in this is a, it can be either a a cl a race, class, event, or background. Background. And you drew mercenary. Now your your second bond is enemy. Oh gosh. And as far as the who, again, race, class, background, or event. Class. Your enemy is a rogue. All right, lay it on me. First of all, I'm calling an audible. An undead cleric is just a lich. <laughs> and, of course, my origin being runes makes sense. That's probably where I died after being chased down by, a, well, whatever caused my bankruptcy. In this case, I was a merchant going around peddling unique artifacts, things that I had bought off of adventuring companies at low, low prices, scamming them into thinking that they weren't worth anything. Because I'm an unscrupulous bastard. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, apparently karma caught up one day. I was selling my wares to one of the local city lords, whatever you want to call him. Maybe, maybe he's just the king of a nation state. Maybe he's just the actual mayor. Maybe he's just a governor of some sort. Mm -hmm. But we're in his palace. I'm showing him all the nice jewelry. He goes and he tries to pick one up. And he dies. Now, the guy who had been taking the wares from me and setting them out on the mat in front of this governor, king, mm -hmm. mayor, whatever he might be, I didn't really care. I was just going to sell my shit. Uh, was a little halfling guy, little slave. And uh, the reason I'm marked by shame is because I, suddenly growing a conscience for once, goes, nah, it couldn't have been him. A little slave. There's nothing he did. And they're like, well, but if it isn't him, it's you! It's like, wait, no. D stop. But what actually happened is that none of those pieces of jewelry were cursed. A rogue snuck poison onto the gem specifically. And that's why he's now my enemy. Because I'm going to kill that little fucking bastard. I'm going to find him, and I'm going to strangle him. With with, uh, with with uh, my bony hands of death and doom. <clears throat> now, the entire reason I'm friends with the mercenary chief is because after I rose from the dead, um, I figured out that, hey, I looked through all the stuff that was still with me, all, all I could take with me while I was fleeing everybody trying to kill me, didn't flee very well and then hit it all in the runes, I figured out one of those things is what turns me into a lich. So it's automatically probably my phylactery. Better put that someplace safe. I immediately swallowed it. <coughs> the, uh... The mercenary group was right outside the ruins, getting their asses handed to them by the guys who had chased me to kill me. Because they didn't know I was dead yet. I fell down and broke my neck in that goddamn ruins. They never caught up to me and actually killed me. So I go out there, I'm like, you motherfuckers are all gonna die. And, uh, you know, wraith, skeletons, all the, all the nice black magic-y undead uh, armies of my lichdom sprung up from the ground, took the, uh, the knights and the, and the soldiery from this palace underground with them, and, of course, added to my army, because, of course, they added to my army. This, uh, this mercenary guy's like, yo... I don't care that, that you control the undead. You're pretty cool. I'm like, okay. He's like, you got a problem? I'm like, yes, there's this little fucker who, who's led to me becoming this thing. I need to find him and kill him. And so now I'm going out there trying to find the halfling 
to the halfling. I, I, at this point, I figure I own the halfling since I just saved the halfling's life. And try to find his fucking robe so I can murder him. And then, ra and then raise, and then raise up his skeleton as, as your, to, so, so you can do it again. No, I'm taking his soul into another gem and torturing him for ten thousand fucking years. <laughs> you know, I, wasn't there a wasn't there a goddess of revenge in ancient Greece? Fuck it, I get I need to look this up now. Yep, it was Nemesis. So I'm a Lich of Nemesis. That's my clericum. Fuck y'all. Yeah. So Doku, you are up. All right. Start with race and class. To be honest, most of my stuff's been pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. And you are a your race is shapeshifter, and your class is rogue. Oh no. Oh yes. Um, your, your, be, your, um, your, you hail from a ship. Your background is a timekeeper. So you keep the time amidships. Nice. Mm. Once again, these things are up, are up to broad interpretation. Your mark of past is giving help, and as far as to who, once again, race, class, background, event. Uh, race. So you gave help to a forged. <laughs> Your impetus... Your imp your your impetus in this in this matter it is go is going to is going to be a secret. And as far as the as far as who the secret is about, um, any car any card but any card um is is a option in this case. All right. Your tr a your impetus for for adventuring is a secret involving a magic item wielder. Your first bond is an ally. As far as the who, once again, it is, you have the choice between race, class, background, or event. All right. You have a warlock for an ally. And your second bond Let's go with race. Oh, sorry I I haven't drawn I haven't drawn the bond yet. So you, so that comes first. is a master and once again um race class background or event yep definitely going with race 
a ju a ju your your master is a giant. So do you need do you need me to summarize before you before you come up before you come up with a backstory? You think you've got it? No, I think I got this one. All right, lay it on me. So I am a shape shifting rogue. I did not know my origins, but I do know that I am supposed to be serving the forge. I know that there will be at some point in time a warlock that will be my ally, and there is a magical item. It maybe it's a deck of cards. I don't know that is very critical to what my role is going to be. I, I don't know if I'm even a living thing at this point in time, but I do know I was created for this explicit purpose. And for that purpose, that is what I go out and what I, what I do, because I am trying to fulfill my master's wishes, for better or for worse. Well, Ooh. I am. I'm kind of rolling the timekeeper aspect in there too, uh, with the purpose of. I was made for an explicit purpose, so. By keeping time, I'm using a very broad interpretation of. I'm making sure things unfold as my master desired, hence why I was created. Mm hmm. Now, where I came from, well, I was on a boat once. I might have even been an orc one time. See, I accidentally killed someone, resulting in uh, some some undeadery or somebody losing a magical deck of cards. Zan, I think he's learning. He might be, maybe a bit. Certainly more than some other people that we think are learning and then aren't. <laughs> I, again, magical deck of cards. I, maybe I was an orc once. I know I was definitely a rogue. And the wheels of time are turning. All right. All right, Zan, you're up. All right. So for race and class, you ha you have... I'm I'm mulliganing race because you already did you already did that last time. You are a dwarf bard. Oh right, drinking sons ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> You hail from a city, and your 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 background is a investigator. Your mark of past is. Let's see. Is going to be a debt. And as far as the who in this in this case, that is that is again a, a the options are race, class, background, or event. Event. Dwarves do not care who they owe things to and why. Why do I owe you something? You dr the the event you drew is love. God. As far as the once again race, class, background, or event. Event. There's more to this. I must know the details. You drew fame. 
Are you going to go with why or where? Where. The where is a land of advanced civilization. Let's see. Why? Why, boy? Why? You were so you were so excited at the start, and I've seen and I and I can picture the exact moment when your heart rips in half. Well, my heart's no, my heart's doubled in size. What are you talking about? <laughs> the, the the wheels are turning. I'm just wondering why he would do something like that to that civilization. Mm -hmm. So. And of advanced beer and salt. So your impetus is a search. As far as. Search before. All right. Let me. Mm -hmm. Okay, redraw. Your impetus is friendship. Yay! Now, as far as the who, once again, race, class, background, or event. Race. Friend, your reason for your reason for adventuring is friendship with a dragonborn. And your your first bond is your is a father. As far as the who, you have a choice between race, class, or background. I'm going to choose background. All right. Your father is a bandit. Your second bond is your brother. One same same three same three options as last time. Class. And your brother is an artificer. Oh boy. Oh boy, it all ties together. Okay. Dead of love is not that of romantic love. It is familial love. His artificer brother went off into a land of advanced civilization to learn more about making better and better artifacts and become famous. And his brother, his barley brother, paved the way. Which is why I owe so goddamn so much goddamn money. Oh my god, all the goddamn money. So the reason I'm an investigator is because I'm a bard. The dwarf cities can't very well send out the most stoic, stolid-looking men looking for all of their uh, their criminals. No, 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 no. See, that would just get noticed, and every dwarf criminal would be like, ha ha, there's a dwarf Justicar, I'm going, bye! So, no, 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 Justicars are now picked from among the diplomancers of the dwarves. And who are the best diplomancers? But those who can sing the best drinking songs! <laughs> so, this dwarfy bard from a large dwarf city goes out and makes friends with this dragonborn who's down on his luck. Kind of in his mug, as it were, in, in his tankard at one of the inns this guy's going around looking for his bastard bandit father who stole from the city and ran off with some of the most priceless and well-crafted metalwork. Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you. <clears throat> but this dragonborn was crying into his cups, and then he heard the song, and the song lit a fire, except it wasn't a fire, it was a spark of ingenuity, because this is a bronze dragonborn, <laughs> and he looked up at the dwarf, singing and buying rounds for everybody, and goes, yo, dude, and immediate bond, immediate bond, they joined forces, this dragonborn is learning bardic ways. His uh, his death growls are great for when uh, you need a metal drinking song. Just the best. And so they go around searching for loot to pay off the debt to get the artificer brother to this land of advanced civilization, and also searching for that bastard father to get the metalwork back to the dwarf cities. 
The investigation is going well. But there have been some oddnesses along the way. We've seen one too many warforged lately. And there's that weird guy with the mercenary plans who... He doesn't ever show his face. He wears a mask. It's weird. But he still drinks like a motherfucker. He almost put me under the table. And you know, W drinks up. Uh, drinks a fork under the table. That just doesn't happen. Which is why the key word here is almost. Exactly. Can you tell that this just came together perfectly? I love this. It I did. have a dwarf drinking metal band. Fuck you, it's Hailstorm except dwarf and dragon. Actually, when when you mentioned need when you mentioned needing a you mentioned when you mentioned that whole thing of needing a of 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 metal vocals, um, the band that immediately came to mind was not necessarily Alestorm, but something more like um, Persephone. Ah! Okay, I can see that too. I was thinking either that or Ne Obliviscaris, or even Gojira for that matter, or. Which, incidentally, and anybody who's a, anybody who's a fan of metal and doesn't mind harsh vocals, go listen to the Portal of Eye album. It's fucking awesome. It is. <laughs> and it and it's be and one of and one of these songs and that is being taught is being taught in a music class in in Sydney. I'm not ki right. I am not kidding about that. Especially since the, um, especially since the, and apparently they, apparently they, um, they have, they have, they are working. It looks like they're working on another album. At least they've, te at least they've teased the, um, the art for it. Shoot. Brash and body. <laughs> the Dragonborn didn't like it at first because Brash sounded too much like Brass and he's not Brass, he's Bronze. Mm -hmm. But he came to like it after he realized that he's Brash because of his voice. Brash and body. That is, that is their name. Um, bit a bit of a bit of an a bit of an aside when it comes to when it comes to th when it comes to that when it comes to that particular um group when it comes to th when it comes to Nea Bliviscaris um they apparently had drew I didn't know this but until now they apparently drew some controversy over the fact that they were used that they decided to use crowdfunding, namely Patreon. Which um Why? Yeah, I don't I don't under, I don't understand what I mean they're they're not they're se they're semi independent. I mean they're they're on an I I they're on a independent label per per se, but it's but it's not it's but look the more the the more out there styles of metal aren't aren't exactly going to be paying the bills through shows alone, even even before all the lockdown shit. So, it is what, but it is what it is. Some some people some people go out looking for witches. All right, Doku, you're up next. Okay. You are a elemental blood hunter. Oh. Okay. You did you did ask how can how can get more ridiculous? I should note that it doesn't say what that what type of elemental you are is completely up to you. Um 
the Blood Hunter was was that one class that Mercer came up with that is that is trying to do the whole vampire that hunts vampires kind of thing. Um, but again, completely up to interpretation. So you you hail from. a ancestor land doesn't say any fur doesn't say any further than that your background is is an artist your mark of past event is Hatred. Now, as far as who you hate, once again, race, class, background, or event. Hmm, with this one, let's go with race. And you drew for your race centaur. Your impetus is go is going to is going to be let's go with let's go with separation and as far as far as who you are separated from once again race class background or event. you drew legend and as far as the what the legends of what the legend is about um, any card is option any card is available if we're going with legend then let's go with hmm. let's go with background all right the background is deity So your first bond is your sis is a sister and is f and you you have race class and background to pick from Let's go with race. Right. Your sister is a shapeshifter. Your second bond is a former lover. And for this, you have the choice of race, class, background, or event. With this one, we're also going to go with race. Your former lover is a giant. Oh, boy. <laughs> I believe you opened this one up with, let's see if this, let's see how, let's see if this can get more ridiculous than last time. long since forgotten, but it is an ancestral homeland, and I don't know exactly what it was. It's been such a long time, I don't remember. And, well, I'm, I'm quite perturbed because it has been destroyed very, very long ago. And I do remember my father used to make paintings. They were, they were beautiful. They were gorgeous. But he always painted in different shades of red. Shades of red that, because my ancestral land has been destroyed, I've never seen anything quite like them outside of my ancestral homeland. And so I am... I am seeking the color red. Hence why I hunt blood. I am no longer... Well, I don't know if I ever was mortal. But I'm clearly no longer mortal anymore. But I do remember distinctively that I was tied to a sister who never, never seemed to quite be mortal either. And a lover who seemed divine 
a, a giant almost who might or might not have had other interactions with other beings. I don't know if they were orcs or shapeshifters or anything along those lines, but I do know that they were indeed tied to the divinity of a world that is now long since past. And I know I'll never return to it or get it back, but I can try at least to recreate what was lost to me through trying to recreate those paintings by trying to find every shade of red and recreating it through any means necessary. Just out of curiosity, what kind of elemental are you? Blood. Okay, then. I'm going straight with the easy one. I wonder if this means that you could, that if you had encountered a vampire, you could um, you could kill it by literally overfeeding it. Although I did, I did real, I did come to realize that there's one, that there's one other possibility that you could do. Um, as a blood elemental, if you were in a fight with a vampire, um, turn, turn yourself, turn yourself into blood, and en enter the enter a vampire's bloodstream, and then, and then, multiply your, and then multiply your form. Um, anybody remember the EDTA from the Blade movies? Yep. I, I mean, it's basically just insta guild, like with teleport giving and killing uh, old and shooting. Mm hmm. Or if I really want to be a dick, what happens if I instantly coagulate? Um. I mean, oh, even, even no. better, just absorb all the hemoglobin and watch them die. Oh no. Better idea, if I really want to be evil. I'm a blood elemental. You have sucked my blood. Thank you, fancy vampire puppet. <laughs> of course, there w there would be, and what and um when it com when it comes to pl when it comes to plenty of other monsters, there'd be a case of, hey um I'm I'm gonna need that blood back and then just drain. Not drain le in the same way as a vampire, but drain as in drain completely fucking dry. I believe that. Thinking they might, they might try to resist, which might, which might make them a bit twitchy. But I could still easily use them as puppets. I, I quite like marionettes. Um. Although the, although the, um, I distinctly remember there was a spell. It, there was a, um, low tier spell, in Exalted, which, I, which I realize the irony of me saying this. I think it was a. It was a terrestrial tier. It was a terrestrial tier spell called Blood of Boiling Oil. Uh, yeah, if I'm a blood elemental, it doesn't really say. Hey, again, you said open to interpretation. I mm. could, I could make it hot. I could make it cold. I could make you a puppet or a marionette. I could suck it out. I could force it into you. Mm-hmm. So. I, I wouldn't be very good against golems originally, though. Flesh golems are a thing. This is true. And... Blood golems. Mm hmm You wouldn't be good... You wouldn't be good against... Against the more machine type of golems. But... The kind of golems that necromancers get up to, or even... God help you if you end up... If you find something like, say... Le 
something to the equivalent of Legion from Castlevania, yeah, that that'd be perfect. Mm-hmm. All right, Zan, you are up next. Of course I am. So for th for this, you you ended up getting <laughs> well. This will be this will be fun to interpret. A forged druid. You cut out for a second. What was that? Origin. You hit you. Your origin is a prison. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Background. Background is a monster. Mark of past. Is. Wealth. Okay. Now as far as the Y. You drew search. As far as the what. You have the choice between. Race. Race. Class, event, back background, or location. Events. And you drew rivalry. Now, as far as the who, that is race, class, background, or event. Class. Cleric. Now for for your impetus you drew duty oh boy. as far as duty to who race class background or event event again and you drew fall now, as far as the Y, that's another event, which was dr which was drawn as redemption. But, and as far as the by, again, race, class, background, or event. Redeeming a vassal. So now for now for the first bond, the, your first one is a son. Now are you going with race, class, or background? Going with race. Your son is a half elf. Now, uh, your second bond Give me a moment. Is a is a henchman. And once again, race, class, background or event. Paladin. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Oh, right. So, the reason my back, my uh, origin is a prison is because I am a prisoner in my own body. Uh, the monster I once was is no more. As part of what was used to make me forged, a monster was imprisoned for eternity within his body. But with the trade-off came a much better understanding of the powers of nature. Nature comes to my beck and call. And the particular wealth I used to have as a monster is still being sought out by the cleric who turned me into a forged in the first place. This cleric uh, is not really evil or good so much as I'm a monster that was in his way. He decided to get me out of his way without telling Bad move on his part. Now, another part of that of that wealth is that when I when I was a monster, I did have a vassal serving as my eyes and ears within the civilized areas of the world, and that vassal fell to darkness when I was imprisoned. It took me years to learn to move this new body I had and use the powers I have, so I have a duty to save him from that fall that he had. Now, my son, a half-elf, half-monster, uh, is the unfortunate side effect of what happens when many a monster rampages through an elf village. <laughs> We've all seen enough hentai to know where that's going. Yes. to help me find him. Whereas my henchman, the paladin, is with me not only to teach me some of the ways in which my own nature magic could possibly redeem my vassal, but also to help me redeem my vassal if I'm unable to do so, and to kill the cleric. Because this paladin was actually hunting this cleric as a rogue from their order ever since he left. Now, there have been some strange talks about there's a really interesting band in the city where my where my son's living. Apparently a dwarf and a dragonborn uh, teamed up or something. I don't know. It's not really that important to me. What's more important is that there's a lich and he's not leaking the countryside with chaos and destruction. You know, the, the druid side of me, after becoming a forge, finds a lich anathema. But this guy, all he's kind of focused on is finding some pissant who uh, lost him a bunch of money and making more money along with his uh, mercenary buddy. And then there are these whispers. Whispers in the dark of a man using the decay of the world to his advantage. Which, you know, decay is a part of being a druid, you know. We, death and, and life are just the eternal cycle of, of nature. But uh, I need to keep an eye out for him. He he seems a little little uh, little creepy. Otherwise, I'm gonna find that cleric, redeem my vassal, and hopefully everything will be fine. I'm getting used to this new body. It's really nice. Certainly less squishy than my previous one. <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, what kind of monster were you thinking you were? I I asked about I asked about the kind of elemental I kind of I'm kind of obligated. <laughs> really? I'm a gibbering mouther. I'm an ex gibbering mouther. Okay. <laughs> so, next up is you, Doku. 
and I th I think I think after this one I will I will attempt to do the last one. So your race and class is elf sorcerer. My sympathies for having drawn the. My sympathies for having you for having you pick elf. Yeah, I'm actually okay with it by comparison to a the orc that has a dragon as a brother that hails from a divine land. Don't get too don't get too confident yet. You ha you hail from a. Infernal plane. Your <laughs> and as far as as far as your as far as your background, you ended up, you ended up go you ended up going with a with a lord. Your mark of past is fame. And are you going with why or where? Hmm. Actually, this is kind of a tough one. Elf sorcerer fame. Let's go with why. The why is be it you drew is betrayed. As far as the to who, once again, um, race, class, background, or event. Uh, with betrayed by who? Let's go with race. All right, and you drew tiefling. And now, now for your impetus. You dr you drew rise. And the the why is revenge. Now are you going with who or why in this case? All right. The card drawn there is defeat, and you go. Are you going to go with where or by who? Mm, where. Your defeat happened in a forest. Perfect. Now your first bond is a enemy. And as far as the who, you can go with race, cla race, class, background, or event. Background. All right. Your enemy is a investigator. And the second bond is apprentice. Once again, race, class, background, or event. A dwarf. So, with all that said, what do you got for me in this one? Alright, so what happened is, I was an elf sorcerer, living, living in a forest like most elves would be, and there was a, there was a point in time when everything was fine and dandy, no worries. And then suddenly an event happened with, uh, some divine entities, a tiefling might have been involved, maybe a paladin. I, maybe there was a dwarf involved trying to investigate another dwarf. He had some weird shit about metallurgy. I don't know, I'm an elf. I don't pay attention to fucking dwarves and what they do. But what did happen is 
inevitably wherever I was suddenly turned into an absolute hellscape and I got trapped in an infernal plane. Can't say I'm very happy about that. So, goal number one, let's get out of the infernal plane and let's go ahead and figure out who the hell is responsible for this where is my apprentice? Because the only person I can think of who could know anything about why this actually happened would be me, the smartest elf on the fucking planet, taking in a dwarf as an apprentice. Because nothing bad could possibly go wrong at all, ever, with an elf and a dwarf working together. Hmm. That only happens in movies. <laughs> <laughs> and also, where the hell did that fucking tiefling go? Because everything was fine and dandy until the fucking tiefling showed up. Odd how that works. We seem to have a pattern of people getting f finding new and interesting ways to get screwed over. Well, it's usually only... Well, it's only when the shapeshifters or the tieflings show up. I wonder why all the classic races that kind of live somewhat copacetically, despite their mutual hatred for each other, only get screwed when the more unnatural ones show up. So, as an old sorcerer, who has again seen an infernal plane and is now finding their way out of it, would very much like that question answered, because, well... Fire and forest don't exactly end well. So, goal number one, find my dwarf apprentice. And goal number two, ask him, who the fuck was that tiefling? And why the hell did the two of you, myself included, result in that, well, destruction? All right. Now, now that I do, oh, I would be remiss if I didn't ask this, but since you're a sorcerer, what, what, um, sor what bloodline do you have? Mm, if we're going down that line. It... I could. S I. I I, I'm tempted to say a fey bloodline, but that is way too fucking easy. It is. And I would actually... I would actually rather play on hard mode and just say it's... It's just basic... Basic magic. Wild basic magic? Because you yeah, said... <laughs> you said hard mode, and that's the first thing that came to mind. Um... I should also note that because of the fact that it d because of the fact that one it's you and two it's not specified what kind of elf you're supposed to be you're probably with you probably were thinking dark elf. Uh no actually I was going with wood elf. It did say forest. Yeah and, and I never I n there are multiple kinds of forest. It could be a jungle. It could. It could be. It could be a more temperate forest. It. It. It's up to you. Well, I, if I had to actually drag out the character a little bit more, originally a wood elf, coming back from the infernal plane, most definitely a dark elf. Let's go full Kratos with it. All right. As far as magic goes, just standard magic you would expect from an elf, just because magical, magical being. But coming back from Infernal Plane, standard magical being amplified. So, normal for Infernal Plane, not quite so normal for Mortal Plane. Okay, now it's my now it's my turn to be in the hot seat. Before before we go on, can I just say that I was tempted to say that my uh my forged druid rather than being a gibbering mouther was a shoggoth or dark elf. 
I was tempted, but I'm like, no, those are a little too. Strong. Although, give, given one of the jokes you made, I was go I was gonna go. It's a fucking mind flare, isn't it? Of course, if I, if I wanted to really be a dick, I could have said you were a rust monster. I don't know how I would mate with anybody. You find a way. Life, uh, uh, finds a way. Okay, Jeffrey. <laughs> I mean, if, if you were a forge, it's a good thing he didn't give you dragon kin, because then you could have been mechicated. Right? Don't give me ideas. Probably, probably cure you before 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 they decided to to destroy to destroy the one thing that was actually kicking at Kaiju ass because because Mothra is a bitch. Well, as long as you don't sexually identify as goddamn it. <laughs> Who doesn't like a buzzsaw in their stomach and eye lasers? Gaiga just wants a hug. I don't know, some people like being a power bottom. <laughs> what else am I what else am I going to say about a monster who spent the who spent who spent his entirety film his entire filmography getting his ass kicked? Well, clearly he's the M of BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not a hetero or violente. Cuz that that just gets into different realms of kinky that we don't on the YouTube. No. I like my channel where it is, thank you. So So I uh, for a racing class I am I'm stuck with a Dragonborn Wizard. That's wizard, not wizard. Okay. Uh who hails from A heavenly plane. Who whose background is <laughs> a diplomatic. <laughs> Mark of Past is Selfless Sacrifice, and I'm going to be going with another event. <laughs> Sacrificed for love, as far as the who, as far, and I'm going to go with a background in this case. And go with a monster. Um, actually, no. You know what? I'm call. I'm calling an audible, and I am. Dr I am drawing. Ri I am drawing a race instead. Um. Bad news. It, bad news. It's it's it is n it is not it is not giant. It is instead Fay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Okay. And f for impetus. I drew betray for a the betr to who it was a victory and 
and as far as the as far as who, as far as who I beat or or where it ha or where it happened I think I'm g I think I am going to go with I'm going to go with the who a who in this case and and say that I, and say that I ended up beat I ended up beating a I ended up screwing over to screw I ended up do, it, committing an act of betrayal to, for a victory over a celestial <laughs> Um my fir my first bond is with with my brother who it who is a artificer my second bond is with a former lover who it who is a necromancer <laughs> so how how to go how to go about this we are di we are we are dealing with the great Draco, <laughs> who is basically what would happen if, Do who in his appearance and mannerisms is what would happen if Doc, if comic book version of Doctor Strange, or, or if you prefer Doctor Orpheus, was a dr was a dr was a dragonborn, as a um. I think, I think as far I think as far as the scales, I'm thinking that I have to go with chromatic, and I think I'm going I think I'm going to go with a um a blue dragon. Yep. So yeah, so yes, occasionally he occasionally he will he will be casting he'll be casting call lightning while sing while singing while um while singing while singing random songs that are. Definitely not that are definitely not Queen references. <laughs> he doesn't have to sing for his spell casting, but he does any but he does anyways because he is the great Draco, and that is what he does. I'm starting to shift away from Doctor Strange and going more into Doom, going more to Doctor Doom as I as I say this. And I regret nothing. I mean, you are a heavenly diplomat fucking someone over. So he, he can sit, he is, obviously he is supremely arrogant to the point where even the god of arrogance would call him arrogant. And, but he is, he is very, very good at, 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 at negotiating, whether it be, whether it be, th whether it be through, t Talking, whether it be through talking, browbeating, or in some cases just cheating with sorcery, to get to get what he particularly wants, and that that is that is how he got into a into a celest into a celestial realm because he was he was approached by a by a a representative of a god of judgment. Because apparently his arrogance had got had, had was caught was screwing up way too many people's plans, so he but he proposed, I will accept my judgment if I lo if I lose in if I lose in a game of chance. And what what the what was what was not known is the fact that, well he, the dice that were used in this game of chance he swiped with his own, that were loaded. So, oh, you oh, there's there's def, there's definitely a chance. It's a chance of it's a chance to see which way you lose. And he, and in fact, he said we we played a we played a very simple game. Heads I win, tails you lose. There's still there's still a ch there's still chance in that. 
and that is that is and because because of that, not only did he get away scot free, he and en- he ended up get he ended up getting he ended up um, stealing the, stealing that stealing that celestial c- seat in the heavenly realm. So yeah, he he cheated his he cheated his way into heaven. He did. He did meet. He did meet a fay in that in that realm, and when his when his, when his particular sins came up to came came back to haunt him, he th- he threw away both his divinity and a lot of the divine magic that he had for her, for her sake. Um. Unfor- unfortunately. Especially, especially, especially since he, especially since through through this, he may he may have an opportunity to actually get a chance at seeing the Artivis or brother he hasn't he hasn't seen in the longest time. But there is one particular problem. One of those people he screwed over, um, and ended up make ended up making a pact with death and became a necromancer. So yeah, air. Yeah, so we ha- we have a, we have a er- we have a man who was a dragonborn who was at the height of er- the height of arrogance and power with his wiz- with his wizardry, who un- who unfortunately is now on is now on the run from a lot of people in multiple planes who really really hate him because he ca- because he found a way to screw them over. To the point where an adventuring party with him would probably ask. Okay, how many people did you screw over? His answer would be yes. Um, I'd probably also have the gag that he ref- that he always polymorphs himself anytime he's in any settlement, just in case. Which makes sense. Um, even even in a diminished state, he's still he's still a fairly competent wizard. He's just no he's just nowhere ne- he's nowhere near the the borderline immortal wizard that he that he was a long time ago. He's nowhere near the ne- uh, nearly cosmic sem- semi-phenomenal powers. Mm-hmm. Is that supposed to be an Aladdin joke? Maybe. Anyway, anyway. But because of that, he is... At the at this current stage, if he was in a party, he would be very paranoid about using his about using his magic, and would mostly be using um, sub- subtler magics. Of course, when push tum- when push comes to shove, he will happily he will happily multicast meteor swarm to his heart's content. It's just that he's got to get over the whole paranoia over all the people he screwed over kind of thing. He wants to redeem himself. He's it's just old habits die hard. <laughs> and yes, I um to to quote to quote a line from Thunderbolt Fantasy, if you were if you were t- if you were to gather all the people he screwed over, you could have a parade. Mhm. But hey, it's 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 one of it's one of those as far as as far as what type of um what type of what type of what type of wiz, what type of uh, magic he specializes in the answer to that is um none none of them he is a he is a pure universalist who's who's done the, who did the long grind. Because it works. Yeah. <laughs> if I can make everybody shock and awe, literally, it shouldn't really matter, does it? Mm-hmm. Um. But the the basic if I were to, do you remember how? I remember that there was a cer- that there was a that um I believe it was I believe it was um top 
I remember one of the characters in FF4. I can't remember which one off the top of my head, but he, but he, and it may have, it may have been either four or six, but he had a bit of a gimmick where he would, um, where he had a chance to remember spells that he had forgotten because he was so damn, yeah, that was Tella, because he was so damn old. That's kind. Of, that's kind of the vibe I'm going with this, but it's less of him forgetting his a vast array of spells and more of. Should I use Should I use that one? Should I use that one here or should I not? I'd prob if I were to, if I were to set it out, I probably I probably put in a rule that every time he casts a spell, there's a random there's a random chance that. One, that one of his one of his enemies finds a way to one of his celestial enemies I should say finds a way to curse him which results in interesting thing happen things happening and if that sounds a, if that sounds a bit like the perils of the warp rules from war, from Warhammer 40k or or um, war, or Warhammer fantasy um, that's kind that's kind of what I'm going with just just not as um, extreme as some of those cases. He's not gonna have. He's not gonna suddenly be possessed by. He's not gonna suddenly be possessed by a demon for no reason. Although it'd be funny to do that, and then the demon leaves because he find because he can't because because the great Draco won't shut up. Or the, leaves because the great Draco has too many enemies. Screw you! I didn't sign up for this <laughs> sort of pressure. <laughs> that actually that would that would be absolutely hilarious. The guy. If, Fine, finally, I have a form to take. I have a, I have, I finally have, I finally have a body to inha to inhabit, so I can wreak, so I can wreak, ha so I can wreak havoc on this mortal world. Wait, why, why is this guy trying to kill me? Why is this guy trying to kill me? Why is this guy trying to kill me? Screw this! I'm out. You deal with this on your own. That's the general vibe I get. I get, I get out of it. slowly moving my monitor back but this was i hope this was a very interesting experiment it's chaotic and unusual mm -hmm. it's still pretty chaotic yeah and i'm i'm pr i'm pretty sure we'll be returning to this kind of thing and do, and doing it in doing it in um interest in interesting ways especially since i i know that the the more modern setup is going to be is going to be on its way. I just don't know when. We could always combine it with the uh, world building deck too for the one we did a while back. Mm -hmm. But when it but when it comes to when it comes to how, when it comes to the future, um I ha I am having at least one Recording it, recording a day for the for the for this week and all of next week. Um, some with some familiar faces, some with some less so. Um, of course, Valley of the Judge on Friday. Um, unless th unless things go awry, Ironverse Comics on Monday. Um, JP Starcy on Tuesday. Dead Tree Studios on Wednesday. John Harmston on Thursday and the Level Up Barbarian on Friday. Berserker. Yep. Berserker. Yep. Sorry. Hoss. 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 But that. But that is going to do it for this particular episode. I do apologize for some of the technical difficulties, but we managed to power through it regardless. So th so this will be f this will be a fun thing as it al as it always is and I look forward to more fun things as there always is here on the open bar of the internet but until then on behalf of the good brothers present and not present my name is Mildra I am your gaming monk and join the watch <laughs>